Hello, hello, sustainers. Are you from Solan? Are you a Northwesterner? Are you a Cameroonian? Are you an African? If you have watched this video to the end, because you'll be seeing how Mr. Musa farms 3.5 hectares of watermelon. You see his cane sugar farm. You see how he produces tons of maize. This video is divided into different parts. Make sure you watch all the different parts. It's going to be amazing. If you're not subscribed, make sure you take this opportunity to subscribe and drop a comment and be able to follow all. All our so you can watch all our videos is going to be an amazing time. Thank you so much as you watch. I will pass it the other side, mm -hmm. but now we we'll, we'll are trying to go here. This this side, this side now we have uh, cocoa. Uh, ah, say cocoa, <laughs> cocoa, cocoa, cocoa. Mm -hmm. uh, macabo, macabo, macabo. Yes. So yeah. for that side now, now macabo that go down. Mm -hmm. Yes. So this side now is that's it. So, so we have watermelon, yeah. So, so far now, now, now how many hectares watermelon there? Three and a half. Three and a half hectares. So we have three and a half hectares watermelon, yeah, and it's doing massively well. You can see. Let me see, see. Look at this. Look at this. This guy is big. Look at. Look at how nice it is. So, so he has just been recently treated, as you can see. You see, I have some uh, chemical residues and all of that. So America color. Mm -hmm. there, there, there are two kinds. Are two kind. mm -hmm. so, 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 so we have two types of uh, varieties here. As you can see this, you see this, we have this variety and then we the, the this two other varieties there. Let's just go inside there. Let's just go inside. So, so everywhere you have watermelon, everywhere it's massive. Wow, 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 wow. Come, 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 come. This is, uh, this is amazing. This is really big. That's hybrid. So this is the hybrid for yeah, the, hybrid. the watermelon. You can see how large it is. Yes. Wow. But this this is really that, good. This is really good. This is really good. Wow. So, so, so it's three hectares. Ma massive three hectares. Yes. Massive. Watermelon is everywhere. I, th I think uh, in a few weeks time you should be harvesting Epa. So what I get with the harvest? Maybe one or two. I think from Sunday. Okay, okay from Sunday. Maybe it's starting from Sunday or... See, look at this. Sunday wow, morning. Wow. Start wow, 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 wow. Okay, so so far, so, so far, wait if the, the ch challenge where you face them for the farm. Um, this particular area, which is the main uh, challenge. For now, my challenge is my problem is only support. The support. Mm. Well, if they support me, I will do more than this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On, on what? Okay, you need water. So, pass a major challenge now irrigation. You need water. And then you also explained to me that the price of fertilizers have gone up. That they are very yes, expensive. That's another problem. That's, yeah. So but the highest one is water. 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 Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, this is great, Pat. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Wait till we advise you, Angi Pui, and do agriculture. I will support them one year as a individual today, which we advise you and give them. For, for, for people who maybe they want to do agriculture, they want to enter into farming, which we advise you give them. I can give advice to people who they want to enter. God, God is, as God has been like this, it's not what you can just stand and enter there that you are making gardening. Mm -hmm. Try to have something first. Like, uh, like money. money. Okay, okay. We will start with money and the land. You don't have money and uh, good land. Because you cannot go start, uh, start harvest on the hill. Mm -hmm. uh, garden on the hill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. look where there's uh, where water. 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 Beside the, beside the water. Before you start. Okay, even in the rainy season. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes in the rainy season, you can plant now like this. And then, then go for one three, month. Two, two or three mm -hmm. days. So you have already lost. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. That's the advice that I can, can give them. try to give to the gardeners. Wow. Yeah, that's yes. nice. That's nice. Nah. So, but is farming profitable to you? Do you think there's a lot of money in farming? I cannot write Congo. This is my own Congo. <laughs> <laughs> Can you put me for government work? For this, I cannot change wow, my... Wow, wow, wow. First, I have... Uh, I'm a baba. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm a driver. Wow. I'm also something like a nurse. Mm -hmm. So I decide to follow my garden. Wow. Even farming, I'm not interested in farming like garden. 
first week. <laughs> Mrs. Wife is giving the sharp good, uh, good money, giving, fast money. Maybe he, 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 uh, you're working with your children or you have workers. Okay. I have workers. Ah, as workers, it's employing people, yes, I'm farming. Those are from Nigeria. Yeah, the, 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 the workers there. There are some oh, guys from Nigeria. Wow, wow. What about the children? What about the children? My children? Yes. They are in school. Oh. So, Pai is sending the kids to school. He has employed workers. He's doing a lot of things within the agricultural field and he's advising people. If you want to engage in farming, make sure you have a land and then you have a source of water, especially gardening because. The, 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 the climate change so the weather is not something you can predict you can change at any time so always make sure that there is that um, water soft alternate that, that, that alternate source of water so it's important and that is a major challenge small scale holders, uh, small uh, water farmers are facing water irrigation to engage their, their, their farms as climate change continues to persist africans suffer a lot and we feel the grunge because our climate is warming faster than any other climate so farmers like papa they are suffering. Imagine Papa is doing 3 hectares. If there was a water, so Papa would do 10 hectares, 20 hectares. And he's going to be a multi-millionaire. A multi-millionaire. So I think that we are crying of food insecurity. There's a lot we can do by just, just helping these local farmers. Probably you can just dig a borehole for them. Because with a borehole, so somebody have a borehole here, it becomes easier for Papa to take over and say, okay, I can buy some few pipes and you get my farm. Yeah. So I think that is, uh, if, if you are listening to me, uh, we are here to just be able to share these stories and tell you the real stories of farmers, what they are going to. If you want to help them, you can help them. You can help them. So it's amazing, Papa. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Isn't this field just beautiful? Look at the greenery. It's amazing what small scale whole of farmers can do with the little resources they have. Imagine, just imagine for a moment that Mr. Musa was given um, water, proper irrigation in his farm, probably sprinklers or drip irrigation, what he can be able to produce. I mean, basically what they do is just to get water in buckets and move one step to another and do watering like every day to get the results Mr. Musa has in his farm. Small scaleholders are suffering. Our farmers are suffering. I mean, despite all the odds, despite all the challenges from COVID-19 to rising prices of inputs to conflict to um, just so many different things, lack of resources, they stand strong and still produce the food we eat. You can support them. You can support them. Just write to us and be able to partner with us. We can dig ball holes for them. We can design an irrigation system for them. We can support them probably in terms of just seed and just basic farm inputs and be able to, to help them to be able to scale up, to scale up and produce the much needed food that we need. We have to make sure that this greenery is everywhere in Africa. This beautiful greenery. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to our channel. We love you.